Housing Minister Steve Clark contravened ethic rules in his handling of the development of the Greenbelt. Reporters pressed forward on his continued support for the Housing Minister. CBC Toronto's Linda Ward reports. It's a mea culpa on repeat. Well, I take full responsibility. The buck stops with me. Premier Doug Ford is standing firm, saying Housing Minister Steve Clark will keep his job, despite the Integrity Commissioner's recommendation he be reprimanded for his role in the Greenbelt land swap. Asked repeatedly why today, Ford didn't give an answer. We're going to have the confidence in Mr. Clark. We're going to move forward with building homes. That's it. He says he'll be sitting down with the housing minister to discuss the matter. Christopher Cochran is a U of T political science professor. He says Ford's reluctance to remove Clark may be because the report says Clark's former chief of staff was the driving force behind the process. So if he, in fact, was operating under the premier's office and the housing minister was the head of this in, in name only, then it might make sense that the premier wouldn't feel that it's right to remove the housing minister. Still, interim Liberal leader John Fraser insists Clark's lack of oversight is enough to warrant his removal. The minister will have have to go at some point because the longer this goes on the worse it's going to get for the premier his cabinet and his caucus asked about the official reprimand ford said that will be decided by the legislature next month linda ward cbc news toronto one man is dead following a fire this morning at an assisted living building in scarborough emergency crews were called to a high rise on brimley road near st Clair around 7:30. Toronto Fire says they removed one person from a unit. Paramedics say the man in his 70s was rushed to hospital, but was pronounced dead upon arrival. Fire Chief Matthew Pegg says the two-alarm fire is now extinguished, and the cause is under investigation. Our investigators, in collaboration with Toronto Police and the Ontario Office of the Fire Marshal, will undertake a comprehensive investigation to identify exactly where this fire started, what the cause of the fire was, and what, if any, circumstances contributed both to the fire and to the, uh, the loss of life here today. No other injuries were reported. Firefighters say the fire was contained to one unit of the building. An expected surge in fire activity is forcing emergency officials in the Northwest Territories to hit pause on its Yellowknife reentry plan. It was hoped the first round of evacuees could begin returning to the city in the coming days. But that's on hold as the weekend weather forecast calls for strong winds. Here's Premier Carolyn Cox.